school year is winding down and the temperatures are getting warmer outside. It's time for the 2023 high school spring sports season. Hi everybody, I'm Braden Shank and welcome to this DAF Media Special as we preview the spring sports season. The Blue Wave boys lacrosse team faces a gauntlet of opponents. With new division realignments, Darien's schedule features matchups with eight out-of-conference teams and five nationally ranked opponents. Head coach Jeff Braymeyer enters his 40th season, and the players hope to make it a memorable one. Definitely got a younger team than past years, but we also got you know some valuable leadership coming back. Um, we've had a lot of the young guys step up thus far throughout preseason and the scrimmages. We have a really tough schedule this year, hardest ever been really. Uh, we have a great group of guys, great group of leaders. Offense has been showing some tremendous uh, effort in the past few few weeks. For this season, our expectations are always the same, ten in the pile at, at, at June. Uh, we have a tough slate this year, so we're trying to get as many good national rank wins as possible. Darian Lacrosse is a program that's very sought after on the lacrosse community, and uh, expectations are no different this year. Uh, we might have lost a lot of our key contributors last year, but uh, that hasn't stopped a lot of people from stepping up and really showing us what they got. After losing to New Canaan last year in the FCAC final and state final, the Darian girls lacrosse team is on a mission. Returning five all-FCAC first-teamers, as well as the 2022 FCAC Coach of the Year, Lisa Lindley, the Wave have the pieces for another deep postseason run. Darian's schedule includes games against three of the top five teams in the country. We have a really talented group this year. We've all been playing with each other for quite a while. Good amount of seniors, juniors, the sophomores are super talented, and the freshmen. Um, we have a really um, tough schedule this year, which will be so exciting to play. We're excited for the competition. I think last year we had a really good regular season going undefeated and we fell short in postseason so I think um, that's our main goal that's driving all of our talent this year. Going into the season I think the whole team is super excited. I mean with the high rankings this year there's definitely a lot of um, there's definitely a lot of competition and we have a target on our backs and I think that we're all excited to like step up to the challenge and see what we can do. It's now time to shift our attention to the Diamonds with DAF Media's Cam McGraw with more on the Blue Wave baseball and softball programs. Thanks, Braden. The Darien baseball team in a bit of a different spot this year, coming off one of the worst seasons in program history, with a 4-16 record going 0-9 on the road. But the team's still very confident in their skills. Alongside coach Mike Scott, they think they could greatly improve their record this season. Some great plate appearances and uh, a couple things to clean up in the field and on the mound, but we're... Uh, we're feeling optimistic and we're excited for a great season. This year I'm expecting uh, pretty big things. We're looking really good in the scrimmages and I'm excited. We have a really close-knit group and I'm, I'm looking to see a lot of the younger kids step up this year. We got a good staff and a lot of guys that are going to put some really good at-bats up for the team and uh, a lot of speed and athleticism all over the field. As for the softball team, Coach Nick DeMeo has the team ready to improve their record of 9-12, and the worst it's been since 2019. The team maintains a lot of talent that they had last year with the junior, now senior class, and plans to have a more experienced lineup heading into next year. I think that we're going to be looking good this season, maybe doing a little bit better than last season, and um, the talent on the team looks pretty good. Everyone's working together, and yeah, we've really come along as a team. Our team's pretty young this year, but we've made a lot of progress since last season, and I'm super excited to see what's going to happen. That's it from the Diamond. Back to you. Thanks, Cam. Out on the DHS tennis courts, the Darien boys and girls tennis teams are getting ready for their seasons. Three-time defending state champion boys tennis team moves up in class this season. Darien will compete for a class double L state title in 2023. Second year head coach John Dave Filippo has a roster with three college commits and the boys are ready for the new challenge. We're looking to, you know, re repeat that state championship, possibly win that FCAC title. Um, in my opinion, I think we're the best team. We have a lot of good leaders, uh, good young talent. Uh, I don't know. Definitely looking forward to this year. Our expectations this year is we're hoping to win a, a state championship and probably the FCX championship too. Uh, it's going to be tough, but, but we'll see. I, I think we can get it done. The girls team also won a state crown a year ago. This season, the program looks to continue on their recent success as they returned many players from a season ago. Some expectations for the season. We have a record high. Uh, out of girls this year we have 19 players which is going to be great because we'll have a lot of alternates. I'm super excited for the season this year. Um, we're coming back from a big win last year as FCAC and state champs so I think we're gonna have a great season. Inside the DHS main gym the Darien boys volleyball team is hard at work. Longtime head coach Lori LaRusso has built Darien into the state's premier program. Darien is the three-time defending FCAC champs and has not lost a match since the spring of 2019. 
the past two years we've won FCAC championships and state championships. So we're looking to do that again and the expectations are high. We need to work hard in practice and because none of this is going to be given to us, so we're going to have to work hard. And we definitely have high expectations, you know, trying to go undefeated and win state and FCX again this year. But at the same time, we have to stay uh, humble and grounded. It's always a business trip for us. Um, you know, we treat every game the same, treat it like a business trip. Um, it is what it is, but expectations are definitely high. The Darien Rugby program hits the pitch again this spring. With a full match schedule on the docket for the spring, Darien will once again take on some of its biggest rivals at the Royal Elementary School. Looking forward to a great year, this 2023 season. Got a lot of freshmen, younger kids still coming out. Got some older kids coming, so we're just looking for growth in the program. It's basically a new team every year. We've got guys leaving and a lot of new guys joining, so I'm excited to see what, what we can do this year. Um, looking forward to We got a lot more games lined up this year than we did last year, so you know, more opportunity to get out in the field and have fun. After a successful 2022 season, Darianne's girls rugby team will suit up for action in 2023. Head coach Mark Stepsis will lead the girls into the season as they continue to grow the program's legacy. The Darianne boys and girls track and field teams return to action this spring. The girls finished 11th last year at the state meet while the boys finished 7th. And both teams have some talented athletes competing this spring. Darianne girls golf team will hit the links once again this spring. They'll look to swing their way into the state championships in early June. Also, the Blue Wave Sailing Program will once again hit the water, competing in the Fairfield County Sailing League. That will do it for this DAF Media Special. I've been Braden Shank, and we thank you for watching.